There's nothing more useless than sin. And so just as we do in other areas of our life, we have to take regular inventory of our souls and get rid of stuff. You know, there's very few things in our life that we've never told anybody. There's always somebody we've told, a close friend, a therapist, a counselor, a stranger on the bus. But there's nothing that any of those people could do about it. They could say, oh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people have done that. They could say, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. But they can't say, I absolve you from your sins. They can't say that. The only one who wins when we don't confess is the devil. The best thing we can do to fight against the enemy, the devil, is to go to confession. It's the best thing we can do. He hates it. He hates it when we go to confession. His tactic is threefold, I think. It works kind of like this. The, the first stage is the temptation stage. Oh, you want to do this. Everybody's doing it. It's not that big of a deal. You deserve this. And if we give in and we do it, the very next thing is, you wretched human being, you weakling, you scum. You're a terrible person. I can't believe you did that. And then right after that is, and you better not tell anybody because nobody would ever understand. You certainly better not tell the priest. We have to learn how to hear his voice, the enemy's voice. The sooner we learn what the devil's voice sounds like, the sooner we can avoid it, the sooner we can ignore it, the sooner we can do the exact opposite of what he's trying to tell us to do. Any cursory glance at the scriptures, the gospels, we see Jesus always inviting sinners into forgiveness. We see him pouring out his mercy. We have nothing to fear in confession because it's the Lord's mercy that we're confronted with. And I always tell people, especially if it's been a long time, I say, forget about why, forget about how, forget about where. It's just, I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and we just pile it up and we throw it into the blazing furnace of his mercy and love. It's gone. One way to get over the fear of going to confession is to go more frequently. If we're in the habit of going our annual confession, yeah, it's always going to feel awkward. It's always going to feel uncomfortable. The devil's more powerful than us. He's smarter than us. He's craftier than us. But we have Jesus. And so we don't have to be afraid of him. But we do have to rely more on the Lord. The thing to keep in mind about confession above everything else is that this isn't some sort of arbitrary rule that the church says one must go to confession. It's actually the natural desire of somebody who's living in a relationship with another person. Right? Nobody gets married and expects never to quarrel, never have to repent, never have to forgive. If we're in relationship with the Lord, we should expect that for that relationship to grow, we need to regularly confess. And I would encourage you to think of the confessional like that. This is the place where I go to reconcile my relationship with God, to increase and strengthen my friendship with Jesus. Don't wait till Lent. Don't wait till Advent. Just go and just get in line.